and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss the properties of logarithms. First we have the logarithm of a product According to this property we have logarithm of the product of any two or more positive numbers to any real base is equal to the sum of their logarithms to the same base. That is, if we have m and n to be two positive numbers and this base A is any real base which is greater than 1 then we have log of m into n to the base A is equal to log m to the base A plus log n to the base A Next property that we discuss is logarithm of a quotient According to this we have the logarithm of the quotient of any two positive numbers to any real base greater than 1 is equal to the logarithm of the numerator to the same base minus the logarithm of the denominator to the same base. Here again we have m and n are two positive numbers and this A is a real base greater than 1. So, log of m upon n to the base A is equal to log m to the base A minus log n to the base A. Now, if we have m equal to 1, then log of 1 upon n to the base A would be equal to log 1 to the base A minus log n to the base A. This means log of 1 upon n to the base A is equal to the log 1 to the base A is 0 minus log n to the base A. Thus, we have log of 1 upon n to the base A is equal to minus log n to the base A. Next property that we discuss is logarithm of a power According to this we have the logarithm of a number raised to any rational index to any real base greater than 1 is equal to the product of the index and the logarithm of the given number to the same base. Where again this m is some positive number and this n is a rational number this A is some real base greater than 1. So log of n to the power n to the base A is equal to n into log n to the base A. Next we discuss computation with logarithms. Now suppose we need to compute 0 0.243 into 3.12. Let us see how we can compute this using logarithms and the properties of logarithms. For this, 
We suppose let x be equal to 0.243 into 3.12. Now taking log on both sides we get log x is equal to log of 0.243 into 3.12. We know the property of logarithm of a product according to which we have log of m into n to the base a is equal to log n to the base a plus log n to the base a. Now, using this property to the right hand side of the given expression, that is, we apply this property here, we get log x is equal to log of 0 0.243 plus log of 3.12. Now from the tables, we find that log of 0 0.243 is equal to 1 by 0 0.3856 and log of 3.12 is equal to 0 0.4942. So, adding these two, we get log x is equal to 1 bar 0.3856 plus 0 0.4942. This means that log x is equal to minus 1 plus 0 0.3856 plus 0 0.4942 that is we have log x is equal to minus 1 plus 0 0.8798 which means that log x is equal to 1 bar 0.8798 as we have log x is equal to this, so this means that x is equal to mp log of 1 bar 0 0.8798. And from the tables we find out the mp log of this number which gives us 0 0.7582. Thus we have x is equal to 0 0.7582. And we are assumed x to be equal to the product of 0 0.243 and 3.12. So, we can now say that 0 0.243 into 3.12 is equal to 0 0.7582. So, we can find out the product of any two numbers using the property of logarithms. In the same way we can find the quotient when we divide two numbers using the properties of logarithm. Also we can find the power of any given number. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the properties of logarithms.